Ever wondered how you can turn your everyday waste into a valuable resource? Welcome to a world where your kitchen scraps, yard waste, and even coffee grounds can be transformed into an invaluable treasure known as compost. This is not just any old dirt, it's a nutrient-packed powerhouse that supercharges your garden and breathes life back into the earth. We're talking about composting, a simple, yet incredibly potent process that harnesses the natural cycle of decay to create something amazing. It's a process as old as life itself, yet so many of us are just beginning to tap into its potential. Imagine this, each time you toss away those apple cores, coffee filters, or leaf clippings, you could be creating a rich fertile garden booster instead. It's about turning waste into gold, and it all starts in your home. Stay tuned to discover how you can create your own compost gold mine right at home. So, what kind of waste can transform into this black gold, you may wonder? Well, it's time to let you in on the secret. Composting, at its core, is all about the balance between two types of materials, the green and the brown. Let's start with the green materials. These are nitrogen-rich waste products that make your compost pile a hotbed for decomposition. Think of green materials as the life force behind the composting process. They're typically moist and include items like vegetable scraps, coffee grounds, and fresh grass clippings. Even your old house plants or flowers can be tossed into the mix. If it's fresh and it was once alive, it's probably a green material. Now let's talk about the brown materials. These are your carbon-rich materials. They provide the necessary bulk to allow air to penetrate and nourish the organisms that break down the pile. Brown materials are typically dry and include items like dead leaves, straw, paper, or even sawdust. If it's dry and was once alive, it's likely a brown material. But here's the catch. It's not just about throwing green and brown materials into a pile and hoping for the best. The magic of composting lies in the balance. For every green item you toss in, you should aim to add about three times as much brown material. This ratio helps to keep your compost pile healthy and decomposition at its peak. And while we're on the topic, it's worth mentioning what you should avoid composting. Stay clear of meat, dairy, and diseased plants as they can attract pests or create unpleasant odors and definitely steer clear of pet waste or anything treated with chemicals. So there you have it. From kitchen scraps to yard waste, there's a world of materials that can be recycled into valuable compost. Start seeing your waste as potential black gold. With a keen eye and a balanced approach, you can turn your everyday waste into nutrient-rich compost. Remember, balance between green and brown materials is key to successful composting. So why not start today? Turn your waste into gold and give your garden the nutrient boost it deserves. Now that you know what to compost, how do you go about it? The composting process may seem complicated, but it's actually quite simple. Let's break it down into manageable steps. First things first, you need to choose a compost bin or pile. There are many options available, from commercially made bins to homemade compost piles. The choice depends largely on the amount of space you have and your personal preference. You could use a simple heap in your backyard a barrel-style composter, or a worm bin for vermicomposting. Once you have your compost bin or pile ready, it's time to start layering your materials. Composting is all about the balance of green and brown materials. Green materials are rich in nitrogen and include things like vegetable scraps, coffee grounds, and fresh grass clippings. Brown materials, on the other hand, are high in carbon and include items such as dry leaves, straw, and shredded newspaper. The ideal ratio is about three parts brown to one part green. Start with a layer of brown materials at the bottom of your compost pile or bin, then add a layer of green materials on top. Continue this layering process until your bin or pile is full. Now let's talk about turning your compost pile. This is an essential step in the composting process as it helps to speed up decomposition and prevent foul odors. Use a pitchfork or a compost turner to turn your compost pile every few weeks. This will help to mix the materials and introduce oxygen which is necessary for the composting process. Remember, composting is not an exact science. It's okay if things don't go perfectly the first time. The important thing is to keep trying and learning. The beauty of composting is that it's a natural process, and nature is very forgiving. With these steps, you're well on your way to creating your first batch of compost. With patience and a little bit of work, you'll be turning your waste into gold in no time. Composting isn't always smooth sailing. What issues might you face? Let's delve into some common composting issues and how to tackle them head on. First up, bad odors. If your compost pile smells unpleasant, it's usually a sign that something is off balance. Perhaps your compost is too wet or it might be lacking enough oxygen. 
This could be because you've added too many green materials like kitchen scraps, and not enough brown ones, such as leaves or straw. To rectify this, try turning your compost pile more frequently to increase aeration, and add more brown materials to balance out the moisture level. Next, we have pests. Raccoons, rats and flies might take an interest in your compost pile, especially if you've been adding materials they find appealing. To deter these uninvited guests, avoid composting meat, dairy, and cooked food scraps. Also, make sure to bury fresh additions into the center of your pile and keep it well covered. Slow composting is another common issue. If your compost pile is taking ages to break down, it might be due to a lack of nitrogen or insufficient moisture. You can speed things up by adding more green materials, which are high in nitrogen. Also, ensure your compost remains as damp as a wrung-out sponge. Too dry and the decomposition process slows down, too wet and you're back to the bad odors issue. And finally, if you notice your compost pile is not heating up, it could be because it's either too small or lacks a balanced mix of materials. Try to maintain a compost pile that's at least 3 feet in diameter and height. Also, remember to keep a good balance of green and brown materials. Composting is a bit like cooking, it requires the right ingredients in the right proportions and a bit of patience, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be rewarded with nutrient-rich compost that your garden will love. Understanding these problems and their solutions ensures a smoother composting journey. So keep these tips in mind and you'll be well on your way to turning waste into gold. Why go through all this trouble of composting, you may ask? Well, the answer is simple, yet profound. Composting offers a myriad of benefits that go beyond just reducing the amount of waste we send to the landfill. Firstly, composting is a fantastic way to reduce waste. Did you know that a staggering 30 to 40 percent of what we throw away could be composted instead? That's a significant chunk of your rubbish that could be transformed into a valuable resource rather than contributing to landfill issues. Secondly, composting enriches our soil. It's like creating a nutrient buffet for your plants. Compost improves soil structure, texture, and aeration, which increases the soil's ability to hold water. It also contains essential nutrients that plants need to grow and thrive. The result? Healthier, more robust plants and a more vibrant, lush garden. But it's not just about making your garden look pretty. Composting also has a significant impact on the environment. By composting, we can reduce the amount of methane, a potent greenhouse gas, released from landfills. It's a small step that each of us can take towards combating climate change. In addition, composting helps to restore depleted soils. Our modern agricultural practices often strip the soil of nutrients, but composting can help replenish these vital elements and promote healthier ecosystems. Furthermore, composting promotes biodiversity. A compost heap is a bustling microcosm of life, teeming with bacteria, fungi, insects, and worms. These critters play a crucial role in breaking down organic matter and returning nutrients to the soil, creating a natural cycle of life that benefits all living things. And let's not forget that composting can save you money. Instead of buying expensive fertilizers and soil amendments, you can create your own all-natural nutrient-rich compost right at home. So while composting may require a bit of effort and patience, the rewards are certainly worth the trouble. From reducing waste and enriching soil to combating climate change and promoting biodiversity, composting truly is a win-win situation. As you can see, the benefits of composting extend beyond your backyard. Composting might seem daunting, but it's simpler than you think. We've walked through the gold in your trash, the wide range of materials you can compost, the basics of composting, some common issues you might encounter, and the undeniable benefits of composting. It's clear that composting is a straightforward, rewarding process for both you and the environment. By composting, you're turning everyday waste into nutrient-rich compost, a goldmine for your garden. You're not just reducing waste, you're contributing to a healthier, more sustainable world. And let's not forget, your plants will thank you for it. So why not give composting a try? It's easier than you might think and the benefits are truly golden. With a little patience and dedication, you can turn your waste into gold and contribute to a greener, healthier planet. Remember, with composting, you're not just managing waste, you're creating gold.